Welcome back. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today, me, Stan, I'm going to teach you, a viewer, how to do this, what I'm doing with my desktop here. Look at this is a, a wallpaper. It's a moving wallpaper with a whole bunch of cool stuff built into it. Um, and in fact, I'm going to move my self up here so you can kind of see everything. I'm, I'm not in the way now. So let's just kind of go over this, right? We have a uh, now playing music thing. It's actually paused. It's on it's music on iTunes. We have a Steam friends list thing. On the bottom left, we have a, a, a music visualizer, which uh, as you can tell, it's paused. Uh, on the bottom right, we have uh, things like how full our recycle bin is, the net usage, CPU, GPU, RAM. I don't know what swap is, but it's there. We have the date, we have the weather, we have the time, we have wind speeds, all this kind of stuff. And you can do anything. This is just a very basic setup that I have. It's very unsophisticated what I have here, but it still looks cool. Um, and what it is, is this, all of this is a background. So if I um, open up a folder, let me open up a, a folder with all my desktop stuff in it, right? It's, it just goes on top. Like if I click Steam right here, oh, it does go over the top of it, but all this stuff just sits there as a, an extension of your desktop. So it's just kind of there. Um, let me do another example. Like if I go like this and then click on this music app, you see, it's just part of the background. Actually, that didn't really work out, but um, it, so there's two things going on here. Uh, typically, when you have a wallpaper, it's a single flat thing and that's it. What I have accomplished here is I've created layers. So now your background is no longer one flat entity, it's a layer of entities. And so what we have is, uh, uh, a background image and then we have all these different things and there's all kinds of stuff that you can do uh, it's called rain meter you can have you can control all of your apps um, you can uh, make your computer look like it's a computer from Star Trek and you have everything Star Trek out with beeps and sound effects and everything um, anything that you could think of it can be done with rain meter. Uh, it, it's a, a way to mod your interface on Windows to do what you want. Um, I like to have, I've, I've used so many different rain meter layouts and I've customized so much stuff. Personally, what I prefer is less. Less is more to me, so I keep it simple. I've got my music, I have a visualizer, I have some Steam friends. I don't even really like that Steam friends thing because I have Steam right there. You know, so it's just there because it looks cool for the video. But, uh, you know, I like to have the date. I like to look at the weather. However, you know, with the age of smartwatches, you know, I have all this information on my watch at all times now. Um, you can see it uh, right, right there. You know, like it's all, I have basically like rain meter on my watch. But, uh, and also I could say, uh, hey, computer. No, no, excuse me. Alexa, what's the weather? You know, so a lot of these things are kind of um, gimmicky now, but there's so much more that you can do with Rain Meter. Uh, the, the other thing that I have running here is um, a program called um, Wallpaper Engine. I got it on Steam. It was like three or four dollars on Steam. I just got it yesterday, and it's really cool. You can so I have three monitors, and each monitor has a different animated wallpaper, um, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can make them swap out wallpapers, all, all different kinds of stuff. But uh, I use Wallpaper Engine to allow animated wallpapers because that's one of its features. And another one of the features is uh, if you go full screen, um, you can, or the program will 
uh, it says that it does, it pauses the wall, uh, the program pauses your wallpaper. So it's not using any resources if you full screen something. I can even test that out right now, I think. Oh, maybe not, but I could, in theory, I could test it with my recording software because I could full screen it, but make my recording software still pull that screen and then see if we're, if we're getting a, um, a background or not movement. Anyways, so let's go over how to do this, okay? So the first thing is, um, let me pull up Steam really quick, and I'll just pull up Wallpaper Engine. Um, just bear with me here. Wallpaper Engine, right here. We go to the store page. It's, uh, it's four bucks. Um, let me move me out of your way here. There you guys go. So it's just a, a, a Steam program. It has overwhelmingly positive reviews. So I was like, you know what, four bucks, I'm just gonna get this and I could have my moving wallpapers because I was trying to figure out how to do it last night. Um, and all the crappy freeware apps that I was trying just weren't working right. So I paid four bucks and magically it works great. So wallpaper engine is how you get the moving backgrounds. Really self-explanatory. Uh, I can go through how to use it. Uh, and then we have rain meter. Now, rain meter is a little bit more complicated. Okay, so you have to basically go online. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up a, a web page here. Where did that go? Here we go. And we'll go to uh, rain meter. There we go. Let's just kind of pull this over here. You guys can see what I got going on. And um, Rain Meter, really cool uh, subreddit. On the right hand side, they have uh, tutorials, they have uh, the download links, the community is really helpful. There's all types of resources here. So if you don't want to watch my video, you can just come here and you can learn what you need. If you're somebody who likes someone to explain it to you, well, stick around, I'll show you how to do it. But it all starts here. Rain meter, so what I do is I just kind of, uh, let me move myself out of the way again. What I do is uh, I just find stuff that I like. Actually, the top post right now is my post. Um, I made a little video showing off my triple monitor rain meter thing. I'll just kind of show you guys real quick. So this is, I posted this on there. Everyone likes it and stuff. And that's what this community is. People come here, they post their rain meter setups, and then they, uh, in the comments link to all the things that you need to do what they did, right? So uh, I did the same. And uh, in the comments, I posted, uh, let's see here. Here we go. Um, I said, here's wallpaper one, two, three. And then here's the Steam Friends thing. Here's the visualizer. Here's how I got the clock, date, CPU, RAM, weather, net, and date, uh, wallpaper engine. And then I gave them a video source. but. Um, so these four things right here are basically all you need plus rain meter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, we're gonna find one that we like, okay? So here's my process. Um, uh, this one has 58, or here we go, look at, oh, I looked at this one already. That's where I got my cyberpunk one. So here's this guy's cyberpunk. See, you saw I'm using the same wallpaper. Uh, this is where I learned to use wallpaper engine because uh, this guy's using Wallpaper Engine. And as you can see on the bottom, he has his own like apps and everything. And then he has uh, like pixel art apps over here. And if you click one of these, they actually work and they'll open up those programs. Uh, he has a CPU and RAM usage in real time via percentage, date and time. It's all pixelated. So he's, he's really big on the pixel art thing. Uh, it's a great looking thing. And if we go into the uh, comments here, uh, he'll have his... Oh, here he is, right here. Um, so he has his uh, links for everything. So simple media is his time and date thing, right? So we'll just go here, and this is the module. So we're, we're going to download it right here on the right. There we go. And then you just click it. If you already have Ring Meter installed, then this is all you got to do. And then we just hit. That's it. There we go. I've installed that module now. It's installed. And what we do now at this point is find it where we downloaded it. Where are we at? 
No, no, no. What am I doing? We're doing the wrong thing. We need to open up Rain Meter. And then um, I can't remember what it was called. What was that thing called that we just downloaded? Uh, simple Media. There we go. So let's find that in. Here it is. Okay. So we have a date and time. Um, Let's go with, uh, sometimes you just don't know, so you load it, and then it pops up somewhere, and you have to find it. There it is right here. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Look at that. I'm going to, um, let's see, you, I'm going to right-click the current date and time, and I'm going to unload that skin. That's gone. Let's unload this one, too. Let's unload the weather, too. Now nah, you know what? Let's keep the weather. That one looks good. Um, so where did it go? Oh, there it is. So we're going to just put this right in the corner here. See, and you drag and drop stuff. It's really that easy. So there we go. There's my new date and time thing. That actually looks pretty good. I like that. Um, and then there's, you know, a lot of different things that you can configure. Um, you can go right into the code of it. So this is how each module is uh, it ha Rain Meter has its own language, essentially. So we can, uh, yeah, here's all the settings for everything. So you go in here and just read through them, and then it, each one of them is a little bit different, so you just have to study them and then figure out how you alter them. Um, let's do a, uh, let's check out one of these other ones. You can load more than one at a time, I think. Oh, no, not from the same module. So, hey, that looks pretty good, too. Let's check out this one. That's pretty good. Oh, shit, my video's in the way. Sorry, guys. There we go. Let's move me out of the way again. So there's that one. Uh, let's load another one. That one looks pretty good. These are all pretty simple. They're, they're straightforward. Um, let's do another one. A little bit bigger. There's one that's called round. Okay. That looks cool. Yeah, so it's... It's, uh, you just kind of go through and you pick what you want with these different modules after you've installed them. Uh, and that's it. You know, I, I have uh, L cars. That's my, uh, that's my Star Trek one. So I was talking about that earlier. Let's do a, uh, let's pick one. So here's part of it, you know, and then you, it's like Legos. You have to build it. So you load all the different things, right? Here's that. And then you just kind of put them in position and it starts looking like Star Trek. It's pretty crazy. Um, news. We have your news. It's not actually set up. You have to connect the news or something. But like it beeps. See that? It sounds like fucking Star Trek. So it's just a cool little Star Trek theme for Star Trek nerds. Um, I want to go back to. Uh, was it Lano? No. It was. Simple media. And we'll go date and time. And I liked uh, the small one. Yeah, that one's nice. It's simple. It doesn't take up all that much space. That's nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that one. I'm changing my thing. I'll keep my uh, weather app right here. Looks good. I'll, maybe I could scoot it over a little bit. There we go. Maybe put it right here. I don't know. But see, you just kind of mess around with it. You get things where you want them, and then that's it. Let's unload that. We'll unload this. Let's unload Steam because I don't need it. And um, that's basically that. So you look through the uh, Rain Meter subreddit, find builds that you like, and then you follow the, the paths that they lead you to, to to acquire those modules, and you install them right into the uh, uh, Rain Meter. It's, it's really easy. They install just like a font. So that's basically that. And as far as um, wallpaper engine, let's uh, open it up and I'll show you guys how it works. All right, so that's the settings. Let me just double click it. There we go. So you choose the monitor you want and the layout. So let's go with the, the middle monitor. Let's say change wallpaper. And we could just pick one of their default ones. Um, there we go. Look at that. We have a, uh, a wallpaper that moves. It's a car. It's kind of cool. Look at that. So there's all these different things, and there's a Steam Workshop as well, 
Uh, let me go to that. Uh, Steam Workshop. How do I do that? Crap. I forgot. I know. I'll just go to library. This is the way I know how to do it. Workshop. So, and you can go here, and then there's all this stuff that the community is making. You can download your own stuff. So, let me, uh, like, that's pretty cool. Look at that background. I'm going to, um, oh, it's two bucks. You have to buy it. Okay. Well, in any case, there's a Steam Workshop, which is pretty cool. So, you can pick stuff. What I prefer personally is just uh, go with, um, a wallpaper that I like. Let's see, which one was it? I think it was this one. No, it was, no. Although that one's pretty cool. We'll just leave that one there. So there we go. There's a new animated wallpaper. It's just a GIF image. That's it. And um, that's how you accomplish all this stuff. It's, it's not as difficult as you think, and it makes your computer look pretty fucking rad. And you impress your friends when they come over and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So with that said, I'm going to end the video here. If uh, anybody has any requests for further videos, let me know and I'll make them. Um, this video was requested yesterday and here I am. I'm making it today. I was going to make it next week, but fuck it. Let's make it today. Um, if you like this video and you want to learn how to do more stuff, subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out. If you just want to help me out, subscribe. That's cool too. And uh, uh, if you, anybody has any questions about how to do this stuff, ask in the comments. Myself or someone from the community will definitely help you out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.